beat would be. Alam here and his brother Qadir. And Abdul Alam explain to the camera what it means. Uh, Alam uh, comes from the word of uh, uh, Elm, which is knowledge. And uh, it's an uh, attribute of Allah, of uh, God. Um, and uh, actually, it's my grandfather's name. But um, uh, we are like, I believe we're like the fifth generation of uh, Muslims in our family. My great my great grandfather was a Muslim. So so your great great grandfather was Muslim, they weren't so you're not a convert in that sense, you inherit right. Islam. Yes, yes, yes. Which is unique for uh, uh, African Americans. Uh, a lot of times you run into cross where you see maybe two, three generations, but uh alhamdulillah it's just uh, a praise of God is something that you know, our family has a, uh, a long Islamic tradition. American identity. Well, uh, for me, it would, uh, American identity kind of almost is like, not to say only Islam will be the first identity I have, but due to the fact that we're African American and the way we've kept, we have come to America, uh, we've lost all traces of our uh, culture, our African culture. So when I say African American, um, it's African because a slave trade, we were brought here as slaves, but more so American, which is the, um, is the only thing I know as far as, you know, I mean, culture. So um, it, it, it's all that I have as far as America. You know, America, a lot of times people look at America as being bad, but I see the good potential in America, and uh, I try to, uh, you know, spread that. Change that. And I look at Barack Obama, and the new direction that America is going in, and I see that as uh, just another step in the right direction, a step in the direction of, uh, whereas it normally would be permanent potential, but this potential is going to be a manifest in, you know, the presidency of an African American, and that's something that's huge and is going to give uh, inspiration to not just me, but to other African Americans, uh, too. My, a lot of African American last names are Jenkins, Jackson, Smith, and if we're African, it should be, you know, more African names. Um, like Obama. Yeah, exactly. We don't have that. We don't have African God. We don't have Dashikis, Grand Bubas, Agbados. We don't have that. So, the American identity for for us, and as being a young African American would be more likely like close to hip hop. Because when I dress, I dress like hip hop. Because yeah, since it's it Africa, it's not doesn't come from the You know what? Truthfully, you know, I think I believe it comes from, you know, being Muslim. I would be Allah him and on Shaitan Rajim. Bismillah Rahman Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Rahman Rahim. So now and when you come rap, you know, and um oh help me, help me find a way to take it the pain away. Every day I'm struggling. Every day you know so you know, the root you know, descends further than what we know, you know? That's fascinating. And I said, Shorty was so delirious, living life too fast, too curious, too slow to understand life serious. Abortion time if she ever skipped her period. Man, she was lost in the street, often found in the club, shaking fast to the beat. Used to get shook, now she always getting beat. Once a strong girl, now she always feeling weak. She thought happiness was chilling in the Jeep, while the man out wildin', killing in the streets. Getting money was an object. 16, youngest of eight, living in the projects. She thought making it was jeans and furs. Another lost black girl with her dreams deferred. Kinda funny how that bling could blur. If you put God first, good things occur. It can always get bad when it seems the worst. Gucci necklace, watch, and jeans and purse. Don't mean a dang thing when you win the hearse. Twisted, younger, on her own. 16 years old, screaming out, I'm grown. Sneaking in the nightclub with the fake ID. Now she laying with a thug getting HIV. Man, hurt sometimes. 
That's why I wrote this rhyme, hoping it work in time And let my words just work your mind And you'll find in time that you're worth much more than a dime Let my words be the light that I guide the blind If you just take my hand, it ain't hard to find But, but she ain't trying to hear me out And now her man getting jealous trying to ear me out So I, I let go and let God Every day the tech blows so I pray hard Sons two and three, but he loves his four five Homie on the block trying to make his grind live Me just a young boy, you can see it in his eyes Man, you can see it when he die Mom on the floor like, why baby, why? Doctors on his chest like, try brother, try His homies in the car like, why boy, why? Let's do a drive by and take another life Another mother cries, another brother dies He got a, a gun in his hand and tear in his eyes They say hesitation is fear in disguise If you listen to my line, if you miss it, hit rewind Or just close your eyes, you can see it in your mind I now understand. Thank you, thank you, man. That is amazing. You, Frankie, man. you can't match that. <laughs> he, he's a hip hop expert. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not true. To Plymouth, we went to the Mayflower, and uh, we are trying to understand American identity. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's where it all began, you know, American the, society. The background of it and the reality of it is that when, when we ain't land on Plymouth Rock, Plymouth Rock landed on us. And now you're quoting Malcolm, Malcolm X. Malcolm X, yeah. okay? When we, we did, it wasn't a choice for us to be here, okay? So when you're talking about that, that American idea to me is, 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 not, is not a happy, not a good identity that we celebrate Christopher Columbus when he... Only he didn't discover it, but he stumbled upon it, and he took it over, and he killed a lot of people. Recognize what happened in order to correct it, because until you recognize, okay, you know, we yeah, we did take America by, we did force ourselves onto America, took it, and and and, and in taking it, we we destroyed a nation of people, and we destroyed a nation of cultures. And we are wrong for that. Just like you, just like they recognize, uh, they recognize, you know, uh, what's uh, Hitler and, and uh, bugging right now, man. You know, for their atrocities? Yeah, yeah, they gave them, they gave all the people who experienced uh, the Holocaust, the Holocaust. They, they recognize that like this. The people got like $5,000. For the Holocaust, like but have they have the has the majority population ever recognized the tyranny and the terrible brutality of slavery itself? Has it been recognized? Ha, ha, recognized? Uh, yeah, well, of course. Like, you know what? If I hit your car, I say, yeah, I hit your car. Zoom by. But not. I, I recognize I hit it, but did I make an attempt to ease your pain and say, let me yeah. let me, let me fix this? Let me. Have they done that? No. I, I'm, um, when you to ask you to some final questions and then I want uh, the team to ask questions. I know they're dying to talk to you. So if you, the two of you, were asked, like I'm asking you as young Muslims, as young uh, Americans, what are the two or three steps we need to put forward for improving relations between Muslims I would recommend that we find the common ground. We we find our similarities. We find what we have in common, because that's what we need to work for. And we need not only just find a common ground, but find what we have in common. But we all are in the same situation. We all. So we have to, I believe, coming together, and as a team, like you have your team. It's not all Muslim team. It's not. But it's an all-righteous team, you know? And it's all one common goal that they're trying to attain. For you, for you, for you, and for you, we're all trying to attain one common goal, and that is bringing peace and eliminating hate. And that's the main key that we have to do.